Anyone does. Can anyone hear me or the music? Just want to double check. They do have music playing. I don't know if anyone can hear it. I hope so. <laughs> I hope I'm not too loud.
say, feel free to ask any questions about the comic. Um, I can answer a lot of things now that certain now that page twenty is out. So for all of them.
Hey, Silver. Okay, uh, faintly. Turn the music down a little bit. All right, what about now? Music probably won't work again. Okay, I had the music, or I had my uh, mic up as high as I can. Oh, the music probably does not want to work. Did that the last time, I had no clue how to fix it. Like, I did something, and then it the music just didn't want to play through. If you're not gonna work, then you're not. Okay. Hello, hello. So you might be able to hear the music through the microphone. <laughs> yeah. Say. So, well, at least this way, I don't. I won't get freaking. You know. Uh, hit with copyright stuff again if I decide to go. Um. Play more. Uh. Copyrighted music. Okay, good. I'll probably just go for like three hours. I, I need to at some point definitely order food or make food or something. Okay. Say, um, I, I said this earlier, but I can answer any questions about the comic now that page 20 is out. I can't answer on who is going to eventually be involved, but it's probably obvious, like, with, you know, who Angel's involved with. Like, yeah, okay. It's kind of obvious who's going to be involved at some point. But, like, yeah, I can answer certain things about it. Yes, it is the comic with Moxie Dust. Or Moxie and Angel, yep. Hold on. Yep, it's the comic. <laughs> so, yep. I have, I'm on page 21 out of 34. Gotta change that. Yeah, I'm I'm very surprised that people like it as much as they do. Um I I thought people would be like really good like really pissy with it because of what happens with like especially with what happens with Millie. But I haven't gotten any like I haven't gotten any like mess angry messages or anything, so I'm like very happy about that. I'm very happy about that. Because I know how some people can get. See, I don't, thing is, I didn't, I wasn't sure. Because, like, you know, what happened, like, Millie died. And I didn't want people to think, oh, you don't like Millie or you don't like Moxie Millie. Even though I have three shirts with them. But. And I just know how, like, because, um, obviously, Husker Dust is not going to happen in this. So I know, I don't, I knew some people probably would not be happy with that. Husk will be in it though. He will make an appearance. Quite a bit. Yeah, people do like angst. 
But yeah, um, I do plan on having Husk in it at some point because I I think he would actually really I think he would get along with Moxie. I just I don't know. I don't know how involved I'm gonna have like everyone else because I don't know how to incorporate or like not not like anyone from Hasbin Hotel. I'm not sure how to incorporate aside from Husk and Val. In Cherry. I, I think I know how to incorporate Cherry a little bit. Um, I know I'm going to have something. <clears throat> I'd like to, like, is, these are all just planned. It just depends on what happens and, like, if I lose steam or anything. Uh, I do have something planned with Blitz. Um, between Blitz, Angel, and Moxie. Uh, I do have something planned with Husk, Angel, and Moxie, and I have stuff planned with Husk and Angel about Moxie and Val. I do want to do something with Cherry and Moxie about Angel. Um, I have plenty of Angel Moxie stuff I'm going to do, both funny and angsty, like very angsty, because we all know the problems Angel's having. <clears throat> and I'm trying. I want to try and keep that as, um, uh, as canon as I can, and as like in character. But it's like, I'm gonna. I am gonna touch on the subjects that you know, angels, drug abuse, and uh, alcohol alcoholism. Because Moxie is not Moxie or Millie was not, you know. They were not people that were into that, and so he's never dealt with anyone that's had uh, an addiction and abused drugs before, so. I have something big planned for that. But yeah, I have plenty of angst. Still, I, I have the ending planned. I definitely have the ending all figured out. I just gotta get good with uh, action scenes. Oh, oh. Okay, well, we're not... I'm not listening to Alistair things when this is not about Alistair. Except for insane. Thanks. I'm. I. I don't think I'll be burning out anytime, or I won't be burning out with it anytime soon, because hell of a boss. I is gonna probably be going on for a few more years, and then Hasbin's not even out yet. So. I'm. I think I'll be able to. Stick with it for a while. And then I have my other one that I'm going to be doing about um, me and Aster's and Sona's. Which Millie will be in that one, I promise. Millie, Millie is alive and well in that one. Yep, um, we have Dez's all planned, um, we have their, or we have her whole, uh, um, her whole thing figured out. I was just, I, I changed Drew's, like, twice now, because I wasn't sure how to make it, uh, work. Because first I was gonna have them, oh, they can go to the human world, but I'm like, no, no, because it's what I had planned was very, very difficult to draw, and I was just like, no. 
I'm not that good. But yeah, I am that's something we're gonna try and do. And it kinda works it kinda helps because I'm gonna be moving there in a moving in with them in, at, in the beginning of July, so we'll be able to plan it and but yep, I, I'm excited. I'm also going to do like the fake instas, which I'm trying to figure out an Username thread for everyone. So far, I really have Moxie Blitz and uh, Stolas's figured out. That his shirt is open now. Yeah, I had a little thing started. Uh, I had a, like the color palette thing started for the next comic with the Sonas. I just I had to wait for Aster to give me the help finish one thing for Des and then give me the like give me the picture so I could finish it. Don't touch the imp. Does not wish to be touched. But yeah, um, the one with our sonas is going to be entirely just hell of a boss. We're not, it, we're, it's not going to be a has-been thing like this is. Oh god, this hand. I hate hands. I hate them so much. Why do we need hands? Hands and feet. Don't you start down there. Don't, no, you don't you start. You have nothing to be barking and huffing and puffing about.
Let's see this playlist time. Even though those three of the freaking songs are gone. Stupid YouTube. I'm here for your Something that I own your heart. I'm here to surprised because he thought it was going okay but it's not it's not So kind of funny that uh, people are like, is it going to be not, not safe for work? Is it going to be not safe for work? It's like, <laughs> no. Hi, hi. Hi, Aster. Uh, oh, I don't even know when the last time I streamed was. I think I, I did it on Twitch. Hi, baby. Yeah, I think the last one I tried doing on Twitch. But 
But I think um, YouTube's a little more accessible because I try watching like um, Hell in a Handbasket sometimes, and if you're not logged in on your phone, like my, it's you can't do really anything. So I thought, and at least with music, you know, if you guys can't hear my music, at least I can, like, play a lot of different things. If you do hear it, it's probably through my microphone. Oh, does it? Hopefully it's not. There, hopefully it's not too... Uh... Not too bad. We got soft shit incoming. I don't know if I should try lining right now or if I should just, um, besides that, if I should try, like, inking everything or if I should just go through and do this, like, the very rough sketches. Not sure what would be better. Fuck, I don't have that. I Wait, do I? Do I? Did I save that? Yes, I did. Ha 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 ha. Gimme, 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 gimme. My really shittily put together Moxie reference. It's so bad. Like it's not even like it's it's not that well done. <laughs> I just I just threw shit together. I and mean, a lot of this from episode five. Like I don't think I have anything from episode four yet. Or I yeah no, there's it's all episode five. Oh, get back in there. I said, oh dear Jesus. I mean, yeah, I guess. You and your weird ass head, Moxie. But not as weird as Blitz. Which I'm glad I don't have to draw him much longer. <laughs> I'm t I only have like four panels left with him, I think. But then I gotta draw him so much in the next one. Oh no. Well, he'll be back because we got the I got the one that I'm gonna be doing next in ninety percent he's and he's in a lot. Who blitz? I I don't like drawing blitz. I don't like drawing blitz. He's a pain in my ass. He's a pain. Him and his long ass head. No. No, he's got a long ass head. I don't know what Viv was thinking when she's like, yeah, we're gonna draw him and give him the weirdest head ever. It, I just, I don't know, like... I can't even describe what it looks like to me. Like... Just, it's, 
I don't. For some reason, I want to call it like a bean, but I don't think it. No, but no, a bean does not fit. Yeah, it does. Like I don't know what the like almost. I don't know. Yes, it looks like he looks like a weird looking bean. It's just like, oh, sir. See, I usually draw him like this. Like, like that. When he's actually like this. And like, you know, that eyeball. This is not right. <laughs> this is right. Yeah, yeah, like a teardrop. But he's a pain in my ass. And then Moxie, I draw this fucking square head. It's square head. Uh, you can find it on my Twitter. Then. Hurt head. Uh, I think you can link. Yes, babe, you can link. I think you can link it because you're a mod. Yeah, I think mods can put links. Yeah, if you go to my pinned, you can find the entire comic. Uh, you just click on the thread and then scroll down like a little bit, and you'll find the master post link or the master master post thread. They will get kind of a little bit of softness once this angst train is done. Yes, <laughs> the softness is it, it will be happening in like two pages. Cause Angel's not that much of an asshole. At least, at least in this, he's not. He's not that big of an asshole. I mean, I know canonically he's more of an asshole, but like, it, it, shh, let me go a little, a little OOC. What? What are you gonna say? I mean, they will. They will definitely have. They'll have plenty of moments, which is what I'm excited to do. Um, especially, uh, when they decide to actually start being a thing. Before Moxie gets threatened on the fucking sides. <laughs> By both Cherry and Husk. Oh my. I mean, it's probably. Yeah, it's probably been a stretched little bit. 
Oh god, his hands are fucking huge. His hands are huge! Dear god! I just don't like the height difference. To the fact that Moxie is actually probably canonically smaller than I draw him. Yeah, I love you too. No, I'm not listening to this song because this song makes me cry. Listen to this one instead. He is, oh, like, apparently Stolas and Blitz, or not Stolas and Blitz, Stolas and uh, Angel are approximately the same height. So, Moxie would technically be up to fucking Angel's knee, but I make Moxie taller because I can't draw him that small. It's hard. It's so hard. Is he shorter? I because everyone was saying um he's like seven to eight, and everyone was saying him and Stolitz are the same, like like really close to the same height. But Moxie would probably still not be that. Uh, fuck. I did do a thing where I compared their heights because Moxie is like three. Uh, I Moxie's under four feet. Yes. I actually had art at one point of Moxie in a fucking purse. Uh, hold on. Height comparison. Oh, height comparison. Babe, I'm listening to Underwater again. Okay, Angel is like eight feet. Moxie is like, I want to say Moxie is like, I can, I had canon him at like three foot eight. Yeah, yeah, I listened to that song and it gives me feels. Oh, wait, no, maybe I did. I did kind of... <laughs> I did kind of make it correct. I just made him, like, a tad taller. Lose <laughs> my head. Disappear. And not be seen again. This is how tall Moxie would actually be to Angel. I'm not that far off. <laughs> I'm not that far off. I actually, I think, put him more. Shh. I mean, hold on. Where's the page? Where's the page of him actually um, right next to Angel? Right there. That's how tall I, I make Angel and Mo or Moxie compared to, or to Angel. You're not wrong. No, you're not wrong. You're really not wrong. But that's how tall I make Moxie compared to Angel. So Blitz would be like. Blitz would probably be like right here. Because, uh, wait, yeah? Or would he be? No. Yeah. Like right here. Not probably not counting how his horns fucking yeah not con not consider or counting how his horns like stick out like that. That's how tall Blitz would be, and then Luna would be up here. <clears throat> I know Moxie would probably be you know like I said be a little shorter, but. I, I can't make him that small. It's it's mostly because it's hard for me to. I mean, I do have that drawing of Angel picking him up and put it, like, <laughs> the pic the drawing of Angel with Moxie and Moxie's in his chest fluff. And, like, yeah, I exaggerated how tiny he is, but you know what? It's funny. I don't think anyone cares. Mm-hmm. 
which I still think that guy copied it, but you know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna say anything. So do I. I, I do. I want, I still want to do the other things like, uh, when he, <laughs> like meeting Charlie. Oh, I want you to make my boyfriend. Where is he? Moxie just pops out of the fluff. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Wait. Oh, it would be inside. And then someone trying to mug Angel and Pop Moxie pops out with a gun. What? Nope. I can't get over the day that I realized he has a fucking his his gun is stylized with a god with a fucking music note. Such a nerd. I love him. <laughs> like, don't fucking try me, bitch. Oh, he is so cute. Hmm. I need to draw that at some point. There's a lot of things I want to draw. Like, I want to draw, because uh, Angel, does. you know how Angel just doesn't dress masculine a lot? But he has that one, like, aside from, like, the outfit he has now, like, his normal outfit, uh, he has that purple one that he had in the Instas. Let's see if I can find it. He had it in the Instas, and I don't know if I can find it again, but I want to just, yeah, yeah, poor baby. <laughs> poor baby's right. It's so do I. I want to draw um, Moxie seeing him in that outfit and, like, just be like, oh, oh, I'm, I'm very, very gay right now. I just like the circus. Do you want out? I think the Nifty's done running. You want out there? Come on. Be free, child. She's not done. What the hell? Sorry, our Roomba got, I thought our Roomba was done, and it apparently was not, and she got stuck in a corner. Uh, it was, hello, so we can, um, I think the one we got was like 70, the one that we got for my mom. Yeah, it was, um, no, it was the, hold on. I can find it real quick. I don't know if he took a picture with Cherry at the club in that, but it was the one where he was going to go commit crimes, and then he went to the bar because he he went to a different bar because um he got banned from Husk's bar because he wouldn't he wasn't paying his tab. I don't know if he took a picture with Cherry in in that with that outfit though, but it is. This one. I I want to. <laughs> I have I have a little script played out in my mind. It's after him and Angel get like actually get together. And it and yeah, that's that's really good for a Roomba. I'm pretty sure it was like seventy seventy five dollars. I know. I thought she was done. I'm sorry. 
but yeah, I have an idea with that and just Moxie realizing just how gay he actually he really is. For how, how bi he actually is. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? Who's talking? Valentina. Honey and figs. Yeah, you think this is like... <laughs> <laughs> you think this is bad? Like, now? Aster knows how the comic ends. Aster knows exactly how the comic ends. How, how, like, the whole... Oh, well, not this comic specifically, but how the, um... The actual entire story ends. Okay, now she put her stuff away. Yeah. I, I... The only thing I can say is people get hurt. People get hurt. I have an idea though, babe. I I want to talk to you about it. Now that episode five came out, because I I know um for this I have it placed two years after or placed after the um events of Hasbin Hotel the Hasbin Hotel pilot. But it's two years since Millie died. So she died in the extermination prior to the one shown in the Heisman Hotel pilot. So I'm having everything that happens in season one happen before she died. Because I don't think Hasbin and Helva will ever really cross over. Aside from maybe podcasts or like streams and stuff. Signings. I don't think they'll. I don't think they'll get a movie or anything together. Though I think the most they'll get are like Easter eggs and cameos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it's been for this. It's been two years since she. It's yeah. It's been over two years since she died. I'm sorry. Like that's not exact. That's not originally how the uh this pairing came along. But I'm like, oh, but. But angst. But angst. And I need, because I also wanted Moxie to have something he had to work through. Because Angel has everything with Val and his drug abuse and alcoholism, where Moxie's like, what would he have? You know, if he was single, it's like, he doesn't have anything for him to overcome. Well, with this now, it's he has to get over, he has to work through the grief of his wife and the fact that he could not have done, like, that he, it's not... He, he obviously, like, even in the show, he doesn't consider himself strong. You know, he's been put down because he isn't strong. And that's his whole thing is that he wasn't strong enough and that, you know, he lost the love of his, love of his wife and needs to realize that it is okay to move on. As much as he doesn't think he can or he's not allowed to, he is. But he just has to get over... Yep, he also has severe survivor's guilt. Because he was, between the two of them, he was the only survivor. Blitz and Luna are alive. They are alive. They're, they're alive and well. It's a pizza split on the screen. But yeah, he has just very severe survivor's guilt. Thank you, I try. <laughs> I, I try. Like, and like, with the whole thing with Angel, I'm, it, him is, like I said, it's his, uh, drug abuse and alcohol, or, and mostly the whole stuff with Val and his drug abuse is what's gonna be, uh, the focus with him, which I think that's gonna be the canon focus with him in the show, so that's not too far off. 
Like I said, Moxie is not used to handling anyone with such problems, so that's going to be another thing. And I have a comic, an angsty comic, to deal with that. And I know for my other comic, for, well, the other comic, it's not just mine, but the other comic that's going to come out, uh, I know what Rue's going to be trying to get through. You gotta learn that they're not, they're not a fucking failure, even though they've been told that a lot. No, no. Yeah, my whole thing is I just don't want an angel to go too out of character. Because, like, I'm going to, like, you know, that's my whole thing is, like, he's not the he's not the nicest person, but I don't think he's heart entirely heartless. Like, I have a thing, I have a thing with, um, Husk and Angel regarding Moxie, and I know what we've seen with Husk, he doesn't really care, like, he cares for people, but he does, like, he tries, like, pretends he doesn't, so, but I'm gonna kind of go a little OOC with him, because I'm gonna try and have him actually get close to Moxie, too, like, I'm sorry, I cannot understand that. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm say I, I I can't read that. I, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> oh, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I was just like, oh no. One thing I had to say, like, about this is just, like, a lot of people are like, is it going to be not safe for work when it's just, like, why? Just because it's Angel? 
Like, just because it's Angel doesn't mean it has to be. I mean, it almost got there. But. Then anyone who follows me knows just how often I draw, actually draw not safe for work stuff. And it's just, it takes me forever to, to even do that. There's a fire something around here again. Speaking of memes, there's one I want to do, and I have to get the comic, the, my second comic started, just to do it, because, because it's a spoiler if I do it now. a shitty hand, but I'll fix it. Very shitty hands. The hands suck, so... Alright, so should I ink this or should I go through and sketch everything out first? It's all right, hon. <laughs> like it doesn't honestly doesn't matter each way to me what gets done first. You had to make it a tie! It makes it a tie! It hit tiebreaker! Um... Hmm... I don't know, I think, I, I don't remember which page will actually give spoilers right now, hold on. I <laughs> was like, oh, okay, don't need to know. Okay, people got two ink.
Oh wait, shit, I didn't- oh. That's gonna be different, because that's actually not words. Because I think the next spoiler is... Twenty nine. Twenty nine is the next big spoiler. Kinda. Not as big as the Millie one, so But I think it's obvious at this point that, you know it's a bad fly. It doesn't matter to me. I don't it don't matter. The only thing that I needed to get done before I moved was the um words in the word bubbles. Because, uh, yeah. I might have to order food, though, soon. I am hungry. But I know if I order something, I gotta get my dad something, too. Yes, draw them. Draw the babies. I have ideas for them. I just, I, I, I think once I get this done, uh, I will definitely have a lot more time to draw things that I, not that I want, because I want to draw this, but like, non-comic related stuff for a little bit. Okay, so sketching it is. I never knew my father. <laughs> I'm listening to Twisted again. Fucking love that sh that movie or er, show. Which the hell coach me out of puppies? Oh, did you guys see that they're making one of a, a prequel live action about Gaston and LeFou? I'm so mad. I'm so disappointed. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I will not watch another live action movie from them. I'm very I was I was disappointed with Beauty and the Beast. And it's just no. So they are making a lay a live action movie about Gaston and LeFou. And I think they're using the same two actors from the Mu Beauty and the Beast live action, even though that one fucking sucked. I absolutely hate the Beauty and the Beast remake with a burning fucking passion. <laughs> I, I, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite, uh, Disney movie ever, and they just, they, they, oh, oh. It is, um, and I understand, like, having to use autotune sometimes, like, if it, especially if, if it's, like, a tweak here or there, like, if the, if the actor or actress or whoever can't reach that pitch, it's like, okay, fine. You gotta tweak it just a little bit, whatever. But it's just like, oh, they, they use it a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, and the thing is, uh, I think they're, they're not choosing people who can sing well, I think is their problem. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. 
yes, there is no, there is no energy in anything, in any, the only one that it does is Gaston, this is the only fucking song that has, uh, energy to it, that's the only song I enjoyed was Gaston, until, like, LeFou was like, oh, I can't spell, and it's just like, oh, shut up. Yeah, I just, I, I, I don't know, it's just, I was very disappointed in it, and I wanted to see it because I loved Harry Potter, you know, Emma Watson and stuff. See, I would watch, I would watch the Broadway one because I know that, because they know what they're doing, is the thing. The Broadway people know what they're doing. And I just, mm, and then I, I was like, oh, I'm not going to watch anymore. And then my brother's like, oh, we should watch The Lion King. I was just like, okay. And then that just, that, that I, um. The Lion King should never have been given its live quote. It's, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe secretly he does. I don't know. The thing is, he likes it. But his favorite Disney musical is The Lion King. So it's just like, how can you look at this and be like, oh, oh, I like it. It's just like, no. Like, Beyonce's a good singer, obviously, like, she's an amazing singer, but I did not hear Nala, I heard Beyonce, just like, uh, with the, <clears throat> the new Looney Tunes movie, <clears throat> uh, you don't hear Lola Bunny, you hear Zendaya, is that Zendaya, Zendaya, however you say her name, which that's, that, that, uh, For any, and, yeah, that whole thing, um, I think it's, at this point, they want to sell, they probably, things they probably won't because, um, it makes money. They want people to go to New York and buy tickets, buy the 60 to $100 tickets. But, um, they probably won't because, like I said, they want people to go buy those tickets. But, um, did you guys see the whole thing with the, uh, new Space Jam? How they cut, for the advertising, they cut out all the voice actors' names, except, except for Zendaya. She's the only one that has a, uh, like, on their promotional posters. They, they they don't have anyone listed except for except for uh, Zendaya. Yeah, they uh they really really, and it's not like uh like the older Looney Tunes where they're all like the limited cast. Like the older Looney Tunes only have like maybe a few people, but um it's like no they have. One voice actor per character. It's not one guy doing three different, three, four different characters. It's like, but no, they didn't do it because most likely because they wouldn't sell tickets because they are not quote unquote known names. They are not big name actors or actresses. That's that's kind of why they didn't. But oh, Zendaya. But she's like. And a lot of people pointed out, um, she's in, she doesn't know how to, she's an actress, but she doesn't know how to voice act. Was the, what is the biggest problem with her? And I think that's the opposite 
And that's the same thing with Beyonce. Like, she knows how to sing, but she's not that great a voice actress. Because I didn't really get much energy from her. Yeah. See, I would love to learn how like to be able to voice act, but I don't think I'm... I I'm, will probably never get that good. Also, I hate my voice, so... <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> that was the same thing with uh, Emma Watson, too. Emma, it, well, Emma Watson, she knows how to act, but I don't think she knows how to sing well. But because they wanted a, you know, big-name actress, and it's like, oh, she played Hermione in Harry Potter. Hermione likes books. books and Belle likes books. But it is just... yeah, it's that was the whole thing. And then in Lion King, you had James Earl Jones back as Mufasa, and there was just no energy behind him. And I think it's because he's tired. You know, it's like you dragged him back for a remake he probably didn't really want to do. Where it's like you look at his um. His, yeah, and, and, oh, exactly, but the thing is, that's the thing, is he had a lot of energy behind his singing, which made it good, which made it, like, you was like, oh, he he can't sing well, but he he's putting the effort into it, where, like, Emma Watson just, there's, there's nothing, like, it's like uh that's why I liked Gaston because they were having fun like they were putting so much energy into that whole number compared to Belle or um uh fuck I think it's something there the one um when they're when it's uh winter and Belle and Beast are like playing in the snow Oh yeah, for sure. He was definitely enjoying himself, which is like you can and yeah, you can hear it. That's like um fuck, there's this guy. What's his name? Is it is it sideways I watched it? Yes, it's side his name's alright, there's a YouTube channel called Sideways and he does a lot of music stuff. And um the one he did was I think just the live just the live action Disney's in general. And he made a point there where if you listen to the original um Bell you can actually hear her smile when she says a certain line. Like, you can actually hear the voice actress smile behind the voice, where it's just like, it's like, with, um, with, uh, Dwayne Johnson, it's like, you can hear him having fun. Like, he's having the time of his life with this song. So, but it's just like, you know, with, it, with the live act, the other live actions, it's just like, uh, and then, um, there was the Aladdin one with, um, Will Smith. Um, they made him pretty much redo the, from what I understand, he didn't get to really do his own thing with Friend Like Me like he could have done. But at the very end during the credits, he does his own take on Friend Like Me and he sounds like he's having a blast. Like, it sounds like, like, it doesn't sound like he's trying to imitate it. He's taking it but doing it his own thing. Which is like, why didn't you just let him do that in the musical number? And why did you just push it to the credits? Like, that was one I didn't see. But I that's just what I've heard is that, like, the whole friend like me with Will Smith, they just made him pretty much redo the song instead of just letting him take it in his own way. Because he's not, you know, he's not Robin Williams. You know, it's like he got someone who had started his career with music. It's like, just, just let him do his thing. I assure you, we will still love, we would have loved the version he would have came up with.
But yeah, I recommend um, Sideways. He does a whole bunch of musical uh, stuff. Yep, why the music in live-action Disney remakes is worse than you thought. You know, something one with cats that I like to listen to because it just reminds me of Mopsy ranting about cats. There's this one part I like every time I listen to it, I just like laugh because I can just imagine him getting so pissed and talking to Tom Hooper. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> It's like, I, because a lot of the times they probably have, they probably animate around your voice, which I think some people pointed out with the Zendaya Lola Bunny thing that it looked like they animated her first and then told her to voice act over top of it. Yeah. about that. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah, no, like, voice acting is a talent and a skill. And I don't think, like, the big, uh, you know, like Disney and specifically Disney, I don't think they understand that to an extent, you know, like, oh, we gotta get butts in the seats. Let's get Zendaya or, you know, Beyonce. Thank you. 
I don't know, I just think voice actors really need to be, like, respected more, and, like, they need to, bigger movie companies need to make a, take a chance sometimes, you know? Because there's been plenty of movies where they, they're like, oh, we'll get all these big names to voice act, and... You know, the movie's going to be amazing. Well, guess what? There have been plenty that the movie just sucks. It was like you could have, like, the best, like, one of the big, you know, biggest actors is like, that doesn't mean anything if they can't act or they can't voice act. And I don't know, like, with this new, yeah, like, uh, people were saying about the two women who did voice Lola Bunny, like, why didn't they just hire them, you know, they, they voiced her before, they know how to voice her, maybe it's like, yeah, if you're taking her in a different direction, that's one thing, but it's like, actually get someone who knows how to voice act. You know, get, you know. Because there's two different Lola Bunny voice actresses. There was one for the first Space Jam movie. And then there was one for the, um, the one Looney Tunes show that she was in. And they're like, why didn't they just get them? It's like, well... They needed a big marketable name. Right? It's like... Yeah. Oh, I didn't know she passed away. But yeah, it's just like, I don't know. I mean, look at uh, Matthew Lillard. They, oh, what they did to him for the fucking Scoob movie was bullshit. I felt, I feel so bad for him. He is one of the, like, I, I still have mad respect for him. And what that the fact that he was able to voice Shaggy after those movies what, is amazing. I think Matthew Lillard is one of those people that <laughs> that played their character in a live action and, like, literally became their character. It's just so funny how perfect that he, how perfect a shaggy he is.
yeah, it's it's kind of taxing. It really is. Um, like I, it's like I gotta. Yeah. There were days where I'm just like I, I can do this. I gotta get through it. I gotta get through it. And then there's days like I just, I just don't want to right now. But I'm glad I stuck with this. That you know. I think the support that I got for it is what helped. It, it what really helped. I'm just glad I'm almost done. I have uh I've I'm, I'm on page twenty one out of thirty four, so it's like we're getting there and then I can take a little break. Probably do some more small comics and like the fake instas I have planned. Which those aren't really aren't really much. Yeah, I I get that. I get that. I had a whole bunch on Ibis Paint that I never finished. Yeah. I've had that happen before. It's just like, eh, eh, maybe not. Maybe not like I thought. These hands are shit today, but hands suck anyways. <laughs> it feels sad. So, like, if it would it be, uh, if you mix these two universes together, would it be a uh, hell of a hotel or has been boss? I wonder. Hell of a hotel. I mean, technically, hell has been hotel is a hell of a tech. Hell of a hat! Oh my god, has been hotel is a hell of a hotel, but or it will become a hell of a hotel when they get more people in there. Oh god, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. No. Sorry for the crotch shot, everyone. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be laying down. Mm -hmm. Not my fault. I'm surprised they have not used 
the the term "hell of a boss" in any of the sh- any of the episodes yet. I, he's gonna say that in the last episode. Bless is gonna call himself one hell of a boss. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the next episode. Uh, technically, I gotta give Angel boobs. I always struggle with his fur, and it's like, well, just give him boobs because that's what they're supposed to look like when they're really not. No! <laughs> Oh, I would love that. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I can hear it in my head. Ding, 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 ding. God, he's so fucking tall. What the hell? I want to make him shorter, but I can't. Yeah, like, I, I'm i still on the thing of, because I just recently started drawing in a style like this, I want to draw them all with more human proportions, which is why, you know, when I draw Moxie, he's not actually kind of like the, he's actually kind of like this. Like, that's just how his body is, kind of like. Hold on. Am I even doing this right? Hold on. Like, giant ass bow tie. His arms stick out from there. And then it's just like that. Like, that's the. He, his shoulders are technically covered by his stupid bow tie. And then with. Like, any female characters, I still try to, instead of, like, just like this, as a lot of them have, I, like, you know. I know. It's either bow ties or chokers. It, it, that's that's the thing. There, you, you get a bow tie or a choker. It's one of the two. Th- one of the two. I mean, I know in, um, fuck, I mean, I think it was the one, the stream she did with, um, the hell of a boss cast, she's like, if I could give everyone a bow tie, I'd give everyone a bow tie. Like, if if not everyone can have bow ties, I'm sorry. Or if you're, like, Angel, you get, you get one of each, you get a bow tie and a choker. <laughs> you gotta have one of them. The only correct it's the only correct way to make a husband or a hell of a boss character. They gotta have a bow tie or a choker.
are they truly a, are they truly a has been hell of a boss character they don't have a bow tie or a choker no no Ooh, I gotta actually dream of something. Yeah, I gave Rue the spike choker. Like Luna, and I was like, ah, shit. Everyone has chokers. But... Yeah, she does have a scarf. I think the only characters I can think of that do not have a scar or do not have a choker or a bow tie off the top of my head is Nifty and Valentino. I think are the other two that do not have chokers or bow ties. And Baxter. Baxter, I don't think I have one either. Pretty sure everyone else does, though. Blitz doesn't have one either. Blitz doesn't have a bow tie or a choker. Yeah. There's... <laughs> And gloves. Everyone's gonna wear gloves. Yeah, I think that's like a brooch. It's supposed to be like a brooch. Yeah, I think that's what, uh, I think that's what he's wearing. And then Solis has that cape thing. You got Angel who fucking dual <laughs> dual wields has both a bow tie and a choker. Yep, I think that's the thing. You gotta have something on your neck plus gloves. I don't know because her legs are the same color, I believe. I'm not sure if they I don't know if they're um gloves or like you said, a different hand color. Yeah, I am that I'm not sure yet until like uh probably until the show comes out or like if she gets uh I know um 
Vaggy got the summer print, Vaggy, and then also Angel and Husk got those summer prints. If she gets a summer print and she's like in a swimsuit, then I'll probably answer it, but. Um. Since Angel did not have his feet showing in the beach one, uh, because that's a spoiler. Just hide your arm behind him. <laughs> I do work bubble. But I think because, yeah. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. I, I, I'm stuck between I want him to have, like, cute toe beans, or if he has some gross-ass ugly toes. <laughs> because, like, I was like, do I want it to be hilarious and, like, kind of disappointing for people, or is, like, do I want it to actually be, like, adorable? But yeah, they do have cute little toe beans. I don't know. It it all it honestly depends on what Viv wants to do with them. If uh, she wants to have him have cute little toe beans, then he has cute little toe beans. But the thing is, he said he hates his feet, so like. That was one thing, I guess, that, that was, um, uh, revealed that he does hate his feet, so, like, why do you hate your feet, Angel? Or, are they that gross? Like, we're getting into soft ter ter territory, boys and girls, and everyone else. <laughs> I try to keep it like as natural as possible without going uh to <laughs> he did it. He, he honest uh with what the next tales are gonna happen yeah that's exactly what happens say no no it's not a bad thing at all like that's just it's it's literally what happened yep that is what is what happens that he's getting a fucking therapy session because he has no one to talk to. Like, he can't he can't vent his frustrations to Blitz. Because he is part of the frustrations. I mean, he might have a bad taste in feet. I don't know. I mean, because he's like, oh, this body is flawless, but then he hates his feet, so it's just like, okay, so you're okay with the extra arms and the extra eyes 
the fact that you're eight feet tall, but you don't like your feet. Like, what is wrong with your feet then? Like, but yeah, uh, this is a very much like <laughs> it. That's what he gets. That's what he gets. Is a therapy session. True. Very true. I still love the show me your feet. <laughs> I got the creepy fan letters to prove it. <laughs> it just says show me your feet. But yeah, um, the thing with Angel, uh, the beach thing was, yeah, they the reason why he wears his boots is because it was, they don't want to reveal his feet yet. I kind of it'd be kind of cool if everyone got a beach picture, cause uh so far those two uh, Angel and Husk did and so did Baggy, so it's like ah uh, is everyone else gonna get it? Am I gonna get a Moxie Millie beach at beach print? Cause I'd love one, <laughs> I'd love one. A Stolas oh god Stolas beach print, that'd be amazing. Yeah. There isn't one. There isn't one. But that would be amazing if there was one. Like, I, I would love one. But I don't know if, uh, I don't know if we'll get one because they just, they had their print signing not that long ago like what um fuck when did when did they do their last streamily it was in march was their last streamily yeah march because uh esther was here esther was with me um so they probably won't me I, I, they probably won't until season two I would love a Stolas one though. Like, he's not like my top favorite character because that that's for Moxie. Moxie's top favorite. But if there was one of him on, on the fucking beach, that'd be amazing. I'd take it. I'd also take a Moxie beach print, just saying. He is. He's such a good boy. I, uh, I love him so much. Mm hmm. He just, he just, uh. See, I wasn't sure who my favorite character would be. I thought it would when I uh when I watched the pilot, I thought my first would be was gonna be Stolas because he's an owl and I just loved his design and everything. And then I thought the second one would be Moxie, but then no. No. <laughs> Episode one came out like nope, nope, sorry Stolas. You've been knocked down. <laughs> You've been knocked down. Moxie's the favorite. Thing is, I didn't know he was. I didn't even know that was his voice actor until I watched it. I didn't know uh, Richard Horvitz voiced Moxie. Because I went into that, and most of has been hotel uh, blind.
the only thing I knew of Hasbin Hotel was, uh, there were clips going around on TikTok of, uh, the Pentius fight. Same. Same. Uh, Aster tells me I'm a lot like him. Which I'm like, son of a bitch! No! Right? Um, what's funny is, um, this is the second thing I went into watching that I didn't, or, the second, uh, like, thing of me- piece of media that I went into, not realizing he was in it, and the other one was, uh, Psychonauts. I didn't know he was in Psychonauts until I played it. Because I, like, I listened, I'm like, that's not, no, wait, is it? And then I had to, because I didn't know the guy's name either. I didn't know that was, like, I didn't know that was his name. So I had to go through the Psychonauts Wikipedia page. Like, oh, okay. And this was before Hell of a Boss was even out. Like, this was, like, two years before the pilot ever came out. And three years before I watched it, so... But nope, I did not know he was in it. I would not be surprised if, um... Like, someone, like, uh, some more, like, more Cartoon Network people came onto it, onto the show. Especially if, like, they got him, it's like, well, I wouldn't be surprised if we see more. It's in, um, in more anime, uh, voice actors. Because that'd be awesome. I know, it's more, I, I absolutely loved it. I didn't get to play it till like, 2017. Because I bought it a long time ago. Like, not a long time ago. But I bought it on Steam when it was on sale. Because I wanted to play it on my YouTube channel. But then I, delete, then I like, stopped doing Let's Plays. And then my computer died. I was like, well, I can't play any Steam games on it. You know, or... It didn't die, but, like, I had to get, Like, gaming one wasn't doing good. So I had to buy another one. And then I saw... The game on... The PlayStation Network, and I was just like, well, can't play my Steam game, so why not just rebuy it for nine bucks? But I'm very excited. It looks amazing. Like, it's kind of funny. They got fucking Jack Black in it. Like, what? And if fucking uh, Mia and Sasha don't get together by the end of Psychonauts 2, I'm going to be disappointed. Because I, I want them to get together. They're so cute. Oh, it was an Xbox game originally? I didn't know. I thought it was like a PlayStation 2. Uh, I thought it was just a PlayStation 2 game. Damn, I wish I knew. I would have bought If I would have known of it back then, I would have bought it for the Xbox. Or asked for it for the Xbox. Because we had one. Yeah, I liked Fring, uh, Grim Fang Dangle too. That was really good. As much as I would love a sequel with that one, there is there can't be because like it wraps up so perfectly. You know, everyone goes to the afterlife. The people that deserve to go to the afterlife would go to the afterlife. It's just, it, that was, I think the old fucking thing got me frustrated in that, though. I think it was just, like, the, um, when you had to find the freaking hidden, 
uh, you're in the forest and you had to like pick up the stop sign and put it back down and like try to find the exit thing. Oh, see, I thought it was a, I thought it was a PlayStation Two Xbox game. I'm glad they ported it though. I'm really I I really am, and I'm glad that they're still gonna keep with the uh, PlayStation Four and PlayStation Four. I think four five. Xbox One and Xbox Series X or Series S or whatever the hell the new one's called. I think it's going to be like all the new gen or like all the recent and new gen consoles. And it's going to come out on Steam. Oh god. <laughs> Mine is my favorite level is oh, I gotta look it up real quick. I forget the guy's name. Um let's see. It starts with an E. Is it Edgar? Yes, it was Edgar's level. I just I loved Edgar. He's such a sweetheart. Like, oh, I love him. Edgar's was the, um, was the, fuck, what, what would the actual thing be, be, like, he was the painter and his was, um, with the giant bull that chased you? Yes! Black Velvetopia. Oh, I loved it so much. It was my favorite. Just, like, the look of it and just Edgar, like, how his was just like also how simple his was hello yeah yep the matador and the bull uh It'd be awesome. He kind of comes up, and, like I think he comes in the second one, but he probably won't. But yep, Edgar was my favorite. That and um, Mia's the dance party. No way, conspiracy just kind of yeah, like like you said, it fucked with my, it fucked with my head. Just like what? I would still love to cosplay Raz, but I don't think I could find all the stuff. I know. I know. I stumbled on it by accident. Because I thought it was part of the level. I was like, oh, hey, what's down here? And then she's like, don't go there. I'm like, why, Mia? And I just kept going. I Yeah, I did too. I just, oh. Uh, it's just, it was such a pretty level too, and I like what they did with Raz's outfit, how it actually like glowed and looks a little different. But yeah, and then in um uh Rom is a ruin, if you haven't like you can see the whole like gameplay on YouTube, uh they do something similar to Mia where they're like, Oh yeah, remember the kids? Remember the kids that you couldn't save? Yeah, we're gonna put you in the same situation again. But like it's not real, but the Romans of Ruin is actually it's very sad. <laughs> the whole thing's sad. Except for um except for Sasha Nine's thing. This is just funny. But I'm really sad I did not get Romans of Ruin when I had um my PlayStation VR. But my VR just really gave me headache or headaches. You do. Uh, you can, you, Rambas of Ruin, I think you still have to have the VR, but, um, if you don't have a VR, you can, put, you can find it online, which is how I watched it. Uh, Aster showed it to me, and we watched it together. Um, it actually connects, it's actually a bridge between Psychonauts and Psychonauts 2.
Yeah, they, it, it's, oh. Because they, well, how does everyone get separated and you have to find everyone? And I'm not going to say, like, what, how, like, who did it, you know, where they're at, but everyone's kind of going through their own thing. And Mia's is actually really sad. It's just like, it's just like, like I said, with the kids, it's like, hey, let's put you in the same situation. You think it's real, but... I have not seen Rogue One Star Wars. I haven't seen any Star Wars since the like the first six. No, it's just, uh, such a good game. It's one of those games where I was just like, I didn't think I would like it. I judged the, the cover art before I played it. And I was like, uh, okay, this looks weird. I don't know if I'm going to like it. And then I played it. I was like, oh, nope, I love this. I did the same thing with Bioshock and, um, Bayonetta too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and I think I think Rhombus of Ruins like an hour, maybe two. I think it just depends on how quick that you get the cup that you understand the puzzles and complete them. Yep, yep, I did it with Bioshock, and the only reason why I turned around and played it was actually because of Bioshock Infinite, because Bioshock Infinite, I was like, oh, that looks really cool, but there's two other games, and I passed Bioshock, the Bioshock game, so many times at GameStop, and I didn't buy them, but then when Infinite was uh, scheduled for release and everything was coming out about that, I played the first two, I was like, why did I not play these before? What is wrong with me? Which I still, I do like Bioshock Infinite. I know a lot of people didn't, but I really enjoyed it. I really did. How long have I been going? I don't know. Sure, let's put on, 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 on Undertale. Can't speak. Yeah, I I think I did this. I also did that with um, Catherine. <clears throat>
because I was like, uh, okay, that's very sexual. I don't know if I'll like it, but I ended up liking it. And I went for the best ending because I was like, no! We got it, we got it, we gotta do, we gotta be good. We, we can't. It's hard for me to do the bad, the bad choices in video games. I'll do it for achievements, but if I get the option to be good, I do it. I I always go the good path the first time. Um. Yes, if you're okay with the sexual stuff, and it's not, it's not actually very sexual, like you would think, um, a lot of it's, like, the puzzle, a lot, a lot of it's, like, the puzzle stuff, and it's actually kind of fucking horrifying when you get to the, um, when you get to the actual boss stages. Yeah. Yeah. What would you like to do for supper? I don't care. Anything's good. But yeah, if you're... If you're okay with, like, the light sexual stuff in it, then yeah. And you're and if you like puzzle games, then yeah. And, like, I guess there's actually not much sexual stuff in it. Like, not that I remember. Um... Now, when Captain with the C is on screen, there is, but when it's either just Vincent and his friends or Vincent and his girlfriend, there real there there isn't like the the bosses are not sexual at all. Uh, they're actually very scary. They're very terrifying. <laughs> I I don't. Uh. Yeah, it's, like, they they do a good job explaining it to you. It's just, like, it's especially, like, when you are being chased. Because the bosses are pretty much chasing, like, the whole thing is, like, you had to climb a tower up, uh, up a tower of blocks. And there's only certain way certain bosses can be, be moved certain ways. You can only, like, climb certain ones and stuff like that. Some break, some of them explode, some of them have spikes. Like, the further on you get, the more complex it gets. Um, but the bosses actually chase you up the tower. And uh, if you're not quick enough, you know, you can fall, they'll kill you. Um, if you make one wrong move and fall off the edge, like, you can dangle from the edge, but if you accidentally hit the wrong button and make yourself drop, you'll die, you know, you die. It's just, like, it gets very stressful, and then, like, the final boss is a piece of shit. I hate him. Oh. But it's, I, I enjoyed it. I want to get Catherine full body, because that adds another character to it. Though it's obvious, you know. It's if you play Catherine, the original Catherine, before you play full body, and you know the, like t the twists and everything, then um, uh, you know you can kind of guess. You can kind of guess about the new character that they introduced.
Uh, I am using a tablet. I'm using a Huon. Uh, I think it's Huon 12, I think. Uh, Huon 12, and I use, um, I use, uh, raster layers. I honestly don't know the difference between raster and vector layers. I just, I just hit create new layer. I'm not that great at artists. Uh, I guess I should be using uh, vector layers then. Oops. I will keep that in mind. Oh, okay. The more you know. Yeah, say, so, uh, and for the tablet, it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't think it really matters what kind you use. To me, I like, I prefer the screen, but you can do just as much with a non screen tablet. It's just, I bought a, um, uh, my portable tablet, and I like this, I, I kind of like the screens more. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll have to definitely do, um, uh, vector layers. I'll have to remember to try and do it because I, it's new and I probably will not remember, but I'll probably have to switch to those. Yeah, because I, I always wondered why, like, to me, my line art looks dirty. Like, I always feel like it's still, look, like... I don't know. Like, I still feel like my line art looks dirty, and I don't, I think that might be why.
how long has it been going on for? I might. I'll go for another half hour. Sure. Just uh just uh send me a link in or tag me in it on uh Twitter.
Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. He did have a little bit too much to drink. And with what just happened, yeah, he ain't feeling too good. Okay, I will look, uh, once I'm done, I'm going to be done, wrapping up here soon. I don't know. Because YouTube's weird. Uh, hopefully soon. I'm not sure if I want to try to start now that we're in the last, um, like, the last half if I want to, like, um, upload them in pairs, but I don't know if that'll make an even, or an odd number or not. I'm I'm not entirely sure to be honest
just like, ah, don't leave, I don't want to get in trouble. Softness, softness, the soft stuff is here. Which one? Oh, okay. And I can't fix it, great. No, it's supposed to be now. Can't tell too bad. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Uh, thank you guys for, for stopping by. I might try and do this again next week. Um, whenever I get time to. Uh, I only have a couple days left of work. And then I'll be on vacation for a little bit. But, um, yeah, I... I... I I'm glad everyone likes this comic so far. Uh, I'm actually rather surprised a lot of people, you know, are so for it. But thank you guys so much. Um, 
I will tweet if you follow me on Twitter. I um, I'll probably post again when I'm gonna stream, which might be um. Let me see. Hold on. I believe the 25th is my last day, so maybe a day or two after that, maybe. Um, I'll post it on Twitter whenever I'm able. Whenever uh, I'm able to. Well, if not, it's always here, so you can watch on uh, um, it's always here on uh YouTube if you want to rewatch it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the only way that I that's the only social media I use to post things is uh um my Twitter. I don't post it on Instagram, and I don't post it on Tumblr, though I probably should. Uh, at least on, um, maybe Tumblr. Maybe start posting again on Tumblr, but yeah. Um, thank you guys again for coming, and if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know when the pages come out. Alright, thank you. Bye!